I'm so glad it's much tighter in the USA. Roddy Jerkins feel to it, you know, Dark Child. You either listen to like when you're in a little lounge, you know, after a little nice day at work, you're at a lounge, you know, smoke on a hookah, a cigar, you know, a little wine. I like the music. Exactly like the vibes to the beat, like the way it drops. Tight. <laughs> the vibes. I liked it. Uh, I like music that has like the flow that I can just like kind of rock to, but that's my opinion. Um, I enjoy listening to songs like that. I don't go looking for them on my own, but when someone shows me a song like that, like I, I like this type of music. I like the track, mate. Little Cation Art of Vibe there. Uh, we actually, that's that's a very, um, we're, from, we're from New Zealand. Yeah, that's actually, that's very similar to the music that I promote in NZ in Australia, so it's a, it's a vibe, man. Um, I like it. Huge. Like that'll fly in Australia massively, man. Yeah. <laughs> good vibe still. You get it, man. Best foot forward. You got it. Yeah. Loving it. Hey, that's. It's like there's just too many sound effects in the background. Cut a little more sound off, but keep the bass in. Uh, so I thought the song was cool. It had like a cool little techno slash uh, R&B slash smooth groove feel. Um, I'm a dancer, so the beats put on right away. So I just kind of wanted to break out and do some stuff. Yeah, it was it was that. Right. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't amazing, but it was that. Right. This nice track. My brother makes music and shit like this. That's why I feel like wow. Where you going? Where you going, man? I like the tone is different from the ratchet shit that's out. I'm not a follower of the new ratchet generation, so make something different. Well, I know the song, you know. I like, I like music, so child. So, decent song. I like the beat. It was a little techno and shit like that. I like it. It's a good beat. I think it's very similar to my Norwegian DJs, but kind of cool. Uh, lounge stuff. Uh, I'm DJ too. Yeah, I think it was really nice. I'm trying to think of something I don't like. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, no. It wasn't anything that didn't catch my eye, really. The beat was really nice. <laughs> I very much like... I like how different it is. It's a very chill wave, bass type of music. Not music that you hear regularly, and I like his voice in the background. I wish there was more words, or if he had at least a hook. It doesn't necessarily need to be catchy or anything, just something like how, if you know the artist Tom Mitch, he'll have like beats like that, but then he'll have like a section where it's just him and he'll sing, and then it goes back to the beat. For the most part, I actually really do like it. I'll download something like that. Uh, it was complex, but at the same time, it was followable. You know what I mean? It was very rhythmic and syncopated, and for me, that was cool. It was like the complex version of R&B, and I thought that was awesome. Very, very highly creative. And uh, it's a good thing that he put the vocals in there because uh, a track with that much going on, you know, th with that level of, level of creativity as far as like the complexity of it, it might be difficult for someone who isn't up to speed on this type of music or this style, you know, to figure out where to go vocally. Like if I, if I made this track, which I wish I did, it was really good. If I made this track, I don't know who I would play it for, honestly. <laughs> but there's a good. It's, I'm glad they kept the vocals in there because it shows you, hey, you know, this could, the vocal for performers can go over something like this too. This isn't just this style isn't just for producers. You know that that they call like producer music or something like that. You know, where it's just it's just beats and it's just instrumental. Nah, man, these are songs. These are real songs, and I like I like what's going on there. It's, it's, it's next level, man. Next level. Follow you on what? Fuck you. Follow is my shit type. On everything. I'm so glad is my shit type in the USA.